I don't want to move. I'm having a hard morning. Yes, I slept in my clothes. My eyes match my green shirt. I've only had three hours of sleep because I fell asleep around four o'clock in the morning. And then woke up because, you know, nature calls. I've already been looking online for more storage boxes. And then I'm sitting here thinking about the container concept by Dana K. White. And how if it doesn't fit in the storage boxes that I already have, then maybe I should get rid of it. But then I'm like, the only reason why I'm having to put things in storage is because I don't have a home. I should be able to keep things in a home. And yes, I know the ideal situation would be my hair is such a mess. The ideal situation would be that I could own some scrapbooking stuff, not have to get rid of it just because I don't have enough boxes to store it. And at the same time, I don't even know if I can get rid of it that quickly. I don't want to just donate it. I mean, I want to make sure it goes to someone that will use it. And if you send it to a donation center, they'll probably not know what it is and they'll trash it. And so then you want to sell it to someone or give it away, but then that takes time. Oh, I'm just so depressed right now. I had a friend from work. He's a guy that I've known for years. And he's just a friend. He's like a brother type of friend. And he told me to text him this morning if I needed his help with the truck. So I text him this morning because I'm thinking about getting the cube storage things into um, the storage unit and maybe even the dining room table because the rest of the furniture is going to be done by the missionaries next week. The missionary boys are coming back next week. But I was thinking, yeah, please, can you help me today with your truck today? And he's busy now. So now I'm thinking I might have to ask my husband for help again. This is such a weird dynamic. It's like, don't I have anybody else in my life that has a truck? And if I do, why can't I think about who they are right now and how awkward it would be to ask them for help? Anyways, as you can tell, I'm just struggling to stay on track, stay motivated, not fall apart. I should be able to keep the things that I own without having to buy more boxes or scrounge up boxes or give stuff away because I don't have boxes. I don't really have that much more but I don't have a place to store it or a way to carry it over to the storage unit. This is definitely a closet that I am dreading. Ugh, I don't want to do this. So I don't know when I'm going to do the closet, but that's not today, probably. Not, not today's video. I'm going to start making this go outside and then maybe even cleaning off this dining room table. Ah, it's making such a good spot. I don't know what to do. Ah, we'll see. Okay. Thanks for listening. Thanks. Let's uh, put some hyperspeed on. This is the calm before the storm This is the sea between the eyes And this ain't the time to chase the dawn 
This is the time to count the miles So hold your fire and clear your mind You won't get left behind Shadow on the screen. I was a drifter on the prowl. Now I'm the lights behind the scenes. Now I'm the wolf that's yet to howl. Yet to break out. Yet to run. Yet to be outdone One pathetic soap story okay, later. So my house is practically empty. My apartment is practically empty. Practically empty. Um, we got a lot more done today with the missionary girls than I expected. Did you see how bare it was when you came out of your room? Uh, no. Not really? Uh, well, it's it's a mess. Moving is messy. Oh my gosh, it's so messy. And we are taking stuff over to the storage unit right now and then I'm gonna treat them to lunch. And yeah, then I gotta go to work tonight. I'm working my second job at the church tonight because it's a parents' night out and they need people for the children. So, yes, let's go take some stuff out of vehicles.
looks like. The apartment. The chairs are all askewed because we were getting into that closet there. I still have stuff to grab in that closet. All right, here we go. The apartment update. Oh, that bowl is completely cluttered again. Recycle papers, laundry, stuff on the couches, random boxes and bins and bags. The cube is gone. The table is looking better. The me. The Brooklyn. We got this wall empty looking. Come back over here. Wow. So, I took down some decorative stuff here. My kitchen is a little more empty and the rainbow hallway is empty. Took down my picture of me as a baby. It's feeling so empty in here. I'm not ready for this, Brooklyn. Like it hasn't quite hit me yet, but then it has, you know, messy, messy kitchen. Messy, messy bathroom. Closet kind of empty, not really. Still pretty full of stuff, random things. Bedroom, not really done at all. Let's see how the kids' room looks. Nothing looks different in here. <laughs> I cleaned up my desk. I started a video yesterday, but it's... <laughs> I haven't finished it because you haven't finished this room. <laughs> You're so cute. Anyways, that's kind of where I'm at right now, is uh, disorganization. Oh, these girls are so wonderful. They made me a to-do list. So... These are upcoming episodes. You got the kitchen, the bathroom, the desk, the kids room, and the bedroom. All on my December calendar. Isn't that beautiful? And nobody is buying these, so I might have to store them or donate them. Got my artwork because I really don't want to take down very many more decorations. This is a disaster. <laughs> I definitely need to work on my desk at some point. And the sisters love to work with the natural lighting. So they always open the blinds when they come in. They're so cute. They're so encouraging. They're so loving. They're so awesome to me. Anyways, I am done. I am pooped. We have been working all morning. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.